So in this video here, we're going to do post estimation of Avruco markers. This can be used for a lot of different kind of computer vision and augmented reality applications. I have other videos here on the channel covering like how we can detect the markers and how we can also like generate them. So let's say that you have an object, you just place like these Avruco markers on top of your object, and then you can actually like do post estimation. You can do augmented reality based on those markers with some objects. You can like go to the round, translate around in in the frame, and then you can actually like, get a really good pose estimation of these Aruka markers. So again, it can be used for a lot of different kind of things, but first of all, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Only 10% of you guys watching these videos here are actually like subscribed to the channel. It's just a single click and it helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. You can also sign up and enroll in my OpenCV GPU course if you want to speed up your computer vision applications and projects and utilize the GPU for real time and real life applications. So now we're just going to jump straight into the code here in Visual Studio Code. First of all, we need to import the different kind of modules. We have our Aruco dictionary. So these are all the different kind of like the, uh, the Aruco types and the markers that we have available. I have other videos where I explain more detail uh, what this acts like means and also for the function to act like display um, the, the Aruco markers that we have detected. But basically here, we just have the different kind of types of Aruco markers that we have that we can act like detect and do post estimation of with OMCV. And then we have this Aruco display functions and take it takes in the detected corners and the detected IDs. Uh, and then we basically just check if there's any corners detected. Then we're just going to like create a bounding box on top of that marker and also uh, to display the ID that it has. Then we're just going to return the image where we have act like uh, draw, drawing the bounding box and the ID. So this is basically what this function here does. In the other videos, I go into details line by line. Uh, what this code here acts like does but again all the code will be in my github you can just go down into the description copy paste it using your own applications and projects so that's really easy now we have this function here for doing acts like post estimation estimation so post estimation of our frame and then we basically just paste pass in our frame we have our aruco dictionary type and then we also have some matrix coefficients and our distortion coefficients so to actually do post estimation with Aruco markers, we first of all need to calibrate our cameras so, or like our camera. So if you want to know how to do that, I have plenty of videos about here on the channel, both for Stupid Plus and also for Python. So basically just go again, go into my GitHub, take the code, do your camera calibration, and then you will get your uh, camera's intrinsic parameters and also your distortion, um, the, your distortion coefficients. So first of all here, we're converting our frame to grayscale. Then we also get our dictionary with our Aruco dict type. So first of all, we need to specify what type of Aruco marker do we want to detect. And then we need to set up our detector parameters from the Aruco module inside OpenCV2. So this is the exact same thing that we did in the detection video. So now we need to detect the markers. Again, this is the exact same thing. We just call this detect markers from the Aruco module. We pass in our grayscale image and also the Aruco dictionary. So what type of markers do we want to detect? And we also need to specify our parameters that we just set up here. And we also need to pass in our camera matrix and our distortion coefficients. So we can actually like do um, really good and robust post estimation of our Aruco markers. Now we're just checking if our uh, if our detector acts like detects some corners or like some Aruco markers in our image. If it does that, we're basically just going to have a for loop running through all the IDs that we have uh, detected in the image frame. And when we have actually gotten those IDs, we can just pass in our corners uh, for every single ID into our estimate post single markers from the Aruco module inside of OpenCV2. We pass in our corners, we pass in like some uh, threshold value, like some confidence score. We need to pass in our matrix or our intrinsic parameters of our camera as well, and also our distortion coefficients. Then this function here will return our rotation vectors and also our translation vectors and also our marker points for our act like detections of our Aruco markers. But the most important things here are actually like this rotation vector and our translation vector, which is basically the pose that we have estimated of each of, of the individual detected markers that we have. So again, we have this follow up here running through all the detected uh, Ruko markers. And then we do post estimation of all of these individual detections with their corresponding IDs. And then the pose will basically do be our rotation vector and our translation vector. When you have the rotation vector, you can actually like convert it to like, for example, like a rotation matrix with the Rodriguez uh, function from OpenCV. So if you want to have like the rotation matrix instead of the rotation vectors and stuff like that, then you can actually like just directly use that function. And that can be used for a lot of different kind of like augmented reality 
and computer vision applications. So basically just have an object with an Aruka marker. You want to detect uh, or you want to estimate the pose of that marker or that object. Then you will basically just use this result here that you get out from this method. So now we're basically just going to draw the detected markers that we have. We have our frame and we have our corners. Then we basically just draw those points. And then we also have a draw axis, which is how we can draw our uh, coordinate system. So the, the estimated coordinate system, which will occur, uh, which will actually contain the rotation and also the translation of each of the individual markers that we need to pass in the frame, our intrinsic parameters, our distortion uh, coefficients, our rotation vector. We also need to pass in our translation vector and then a scalar down here for some confidence score. So this is actually like how basically we just Estimate the pose, we draw the markers, and then we also draw uh, the, the free axis coordinate system of the estimated pose for that Aruko marker. Then we're just going to return the frame here so we can then display the results with OMSV or save the results and so on. So now we can go down and do the exact same thing as in the other videos. So we need to set up our dictionary or like our Aruko type that we want to detect. So right now I both have 4x4 four four, and here we have the tag size. I'm also going to specify the 5x5 five five and use my large calibration board as I'm going to show you when we run, run the program. So first of all here we need to get the Aruko dictionary. So this is basically just the value for our Aruko type um, in the dictionary that we're returning. Then we set that up with OpenCV. We need to set up our detector parameters. We have our intrinsic camera parameters and we also have our distortion parameters down here. So you will get these parameters after you have calibrated your cameras. Again, I have plenty of videos about that here on the channel. It's really easy. So basically you can just calibrate your camera with using like a chessboard. You just capture some images, run them through my code, and then you will actually like just get these parameters. We open up a video capture here so we can do live post estimation of these Aruka markers. We set our frame width equal to 1280 and our frame height equal to 720. So this will actually like be HD that we're going to do post estimation on. So here we're basically just going to have a while loop running as long as our webcam is open. We're going to read in a frame. We don't read, need, really need that this one here because we're just inside this while loop here as long as we're actually like able to open up our um, webcam or like our camera that we have connected to our computer. We'll read an image, store it in the invariable here, and then we can basically just take this image here and pass it into our post estimation function that I just went over um, a second ago. And then it will return the output, which will be the estimated L like the image with all the Ruku markers on and also all the post estimated, um, all the post estimated coordinate systems on top of each uh, marker. And then we basically just pass in our image. We pass in our Ruko dictionary. We need to pass in the intrinsic parameters of our camera and also our distortion parameters. Then we just use imp show from OMCV to, to, to show the results of our estimated poses. And if we hit Q at any time here, we'll just terminate our program, release our capture and a webcam, and then we're going to destroy all the windows. So now we're actually able and ready to run the program here and see the results of this post estimation of these different kind of like Aruka markers. Again, this can be used for a lot of really cool applications within computer vision and augmented reality. So now our program is running. I'm ready to take up this small calibration board here that I have. So we have the four by four markers. So here I'm just going to put it up. Here we can see that we're detecting all the markers. This is actually like really, really good. Uh, we're getting some stable, uh, really stable like detections. Even if I rotate around here, we can see that it still detects it and it still has this really nice coordinate system here drawn on top of our markers. Even if we rotate around, we can also like tilt the board here and then we can still see that it is capable of estimating the pose of these individual like markers. Even if I like rotate all the way around here, we can still see that um, we can still see the blue axis here of our coordinate system is perpendicular to the plane or the calibration board um, that I have. So this is pretty good. It's really nice detection that we have. Again, this can be used for a lot of different kind of applications. And again, you can just see like when we're detecting the markers, the coordinate system and the post estimation of these markers here is really robust. Now we're going to change the marker type here so I can try it out with my large calibration board as well. So now we're just going to up here and then we're specifying five by five. And then I'll just take up the other calibration board that I have. We're just going to run the program and then we can see the post estimation of my large calibration board. So here we have the large board, it's five by five. And now we'll take it up in front of the camera and then we can see the results. So here we can see that we're actually like able to detect all the corners and all the markers here in the top of our chessboard or like our calibration board. 
and then we get the even if we rotate it around so these results here are exactly the same as with the small board we can see that sometimes we actually like loses the detection but this board here is also like pretty large again as long as we're able to actually like detect these markers it is really robust and we're actually like able to do the post estimation of our act like aruka markers so this is really cool you can see the results that we get this is really good post estimation and way better than just doing for example like pnp methods and stuff like that for some point that you're detecting of your objects so if you want to have really good post estimation and like robust post estimation with only like uh, 2d images so when we're working with 2d and if you have like 3d if you have stereo camera and stuff like that we have some other different kind of like methods for post estimation of 3d points but now we're only working with two two dimensions and also with a single image so we have no depth information so this is actually like really good post estimation even if we just rotated all the, the like the board here around so now we can detect it because this is not really the correct type that we're detecting but even when we had the board like this we were still able to actually like estimate the pose of these aruka markers so this is really cool i'm really excited for it and we're definitely going to create some really nice project around these aruka markers here in the future so thank you guys for watching this video here and again Remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video and also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. It just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm also doing this computer vision tutorial where we're talking about like all the basic stuff I mentioned. The camera calibration, stereo vision and so on. I'll link to the tutorial up here and then you can see how you can do the camera calibration yourself. Or else I'll just see you next video guys. Bye for now.